Good morning, everyone. Our group name is Script Squad, a fun play on the word JavaScript, of course. In this group, we have myself, my name is Abigail, and then we have Jaden, Abdullah, and Noor. Together, we came up with the idea of Spotify Buddy, a Spotify clone that aims to be more user-friendly. Who doesn't know what Spotify is these days? Spotify, being a massive online music streaming service, has crept its way into many people's daily lives. However, a lot of the features that you might want from your Spotify, such as your top tracks, are only available to you once a year, when you get your much-anticipated Spotify wrapped. Other features, such as your playlists or your suggested playlists, are hidden behind a few button clicks that users might not care to try to navigate to or simply do not know they exist. With this project, we aim to keep everything sleek and simple with nothing hidden from the view of our users. My task for this project was the majority of the backend, which involved setting up our server and user authorization in order for our website to communicate with the Spotify API and get the user's information and listening statistics. One of the things I was tasked with was using Spotify's authorization flow to get Spotify users logged into their accounts so that they can see their listening data displayed on Spotify Buddy. Just as a quick visual, since I cannot physically show you much of what I did on the back end on the website, here's a small snippet of code that shows the authorization URL that the user gets redirected to upon login, in which the user would then verify that they are allowing us to have access to their Spotify libraries and other data points. After the user has verified their information and logged in, they will then get sent into the website to browse to their heart's content. The next task for myself in working with the backend was fetching the specific data that we want to display to the user using the endpoints provided by the Spotify API web documentation. One example of this is using the tracks endpoint, which we can then set limits to depending on how many songs we want to display, as well as the time period from which we want to pull those songs from, which Jane can show you the final product of here in a minute on the front end. Next, we decided that aside from using the Spotify API, we also wanted to build our own API to implement. We accomplished this using Java and Spring Boot. For this data, we wanted to be able to bring some of our, the creators, favorite songs to Spotify Buddy to give our users some suggestions of songs they might want to add to their daily playlists. After building the server side for this project and successfully fetching the user's information, I handed it off to Jaden to bring all of my work to the front end where the users of Spotify Buddy will be able to see the fruits of their listening history. So uh, in developing the client side for our Spotify Buddy web application, we had one main focus, user immersion. And the best way to achieve this feat was by using React, Vite, and Tailwind to implement multiple, albeit subtle, responsive design elements that keep the user engaged with the website from start to finish. The intentional blend of high-resolution MP4 backgrounds, a familiar yet refreshing black and green color scheme, and content banners that pop up to reveal relevant information as the user navigates the website all come together to deliver this immersive user experience. And it all starts here, the login page. Upon starting the web application, the user is prompted to log into Spotify with an existing account in order to unlock and utilize the features on our homepage, which we'll see shortly. And to set the mood, we have the looped, high-resolution background of a woman in her studio gearing up to tackle the world of music. Whether the user is facing long buffer times while attempting to log in, or they just want to appreciate the beauty of our login page for just a tiny bit longer, we've included a responsive play slash pause button at the bottom of the screen that the user can click on to listen to a nostalgic tune before navigating to the main app. Now, let's log in and get started. So you're just going to log into Spotify like so, as you would. So after logging into Spotify with existing credentials, the user will see a couple things. A navigational menu that supports the Spotify logo to the far left that doubles as a credit to the service that made this possible, as well as a hyperlink to the user's actual Spotify page. We have responsive nav items and a drop-down menu that the user can hover over and click on to scroll down relevant content sections. We have a search bar on the far right for the user to search up songs and artists, as well as play songs, and add music to the queue, like so. We have a translucent secondary player banner that keeps track of all the music that you've added so far, and it can be expanded and retracted at will. We have the user's profile picture and name and an introductory paragraph that welcomes the user and gives them a briefing of the immersive experience at hand. And to top it off, we have a player imported from Spotify's pre-existing API made possible by our lead backend developer, Abigail, that comes with all the necessary UI elements to control your music seamlessly. Your previous button, your play slash pause button, your next, your volume rocker, and your audio output all of which is set on top of another high resolution background depicting a concert turntable that makes the user feel like the star of the show. 
As the user scrolls down the web page, they're greeted with yet another banner. And shortly after, the most recent like tracks, their top tracks, their top albums, the artists they follow, the top personal playlist, and a featured playlist section that includes recommendations based on all the previous data collected from the other sections all appear with smooth transitions. And with your favorite songs playing in the background as all this is happening, it becomes increasingly apparent that we take user experience seriously here at Script Squad. Now, before na uh, navigating further down the web page, let's double down on our queue feature. This translucent banner is tucked away at the top left of the content page during your entire experience. Hovering over it increases the opacity of the queue list, and clicking the Show button will expand and display all the music you've added so far. You can use the Next and Previous buttons, as well as click on the songs yourselves to swap between them. It's essentially just a convenient web player that follows the uh, user, so repetitive scrolling and backtracking is never an issue. The playing song will also be highlighted on the player, uh, and it'll also be highlighted in green in the queue. But we can close this up now and keep moving forward. Another fun thing about the player is if you do like a track, from here, and you navigate to your Spotify, go to your like tracks, it will update as follows. So it actually like talks to your actual Spotify account. So a feature we offer that Spotify doesn't is recommendations from the creators of this web application, us, Script Squad. Using Java and Spring Boot, our lead backend developer, Abigail, populated our service side with our own personal top music picks and description that the user can draw inspiration from and potentially expand their own arsenal of music. We thought this would be a fun little feature to not only keep the user engaged with the world of music, but also keep them in touch with the people behind this web application in an indirect and fun way. By the end of it all, the user is finally greeted with our About section to discover more about us and our, and our personal goals and inspiration, as well as the contact page to keep in touch. All in all, Spotify Buddy is a captivating online platform where the magic of music converges with the power of technology. This enchanting website seamlessly fuses your Spotify journey with personalized recommendations from featured creators, which, in turn, opens a new realm of musical discovery. Crafted with React for the front end and a robust Java-based Spring Boot backend, Spotify Buddy offers a user-friendly interface combined with powerful backend server functionalities. Experience smooth animations and a responsive design layout that adapts to your preferences and devices, creating a delightful interactive experience. Spotify Buddy is a digital realm where music and technology are in perfect harmony. It's a place to explore new melodies, rediscover, uh, rediscover old favorites, and embrace the boundless possibilities of musical discovery. Whether you're passionate about music or the technical wonders of web development, this website offers a uh, captivating intersection of React, Java, API integration, and the art of musical exploration. And when you're ready to dive into this immersive experience yet again, feel free to click on the back to the top footer item and set off on your musical journey once more. Uh, this was Spotify by device script quad. Uh, any question? And that's it. Any questions?